टू गेट दी नोट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड इंस्टॉल दी एप नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑन सुपर पोजिशन थेरम क्वेश्चन फाइंड द करंट थ्रू थ्री ओहम रजिस्टर यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम नाउ हेयर इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस थ्री ओहम रजिस्टर बाय यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम नाउ हेयर एज वी कैन सी देर आर टू वोल्टेज सोर्सेस सो वेन मल्टीपल सोर्सेस आर प्रेजेंट दैट टाइम वी कैन यूज सुपर पोजिशन थेरम नाउ हेयर इन दिस सर्किट फर्स्ट वी विल कंसिडर दिस ट्वेंटी वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस थ्री ओम रजिस्टर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल यूज दिस फोर्टी वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस थ्री ओम रजिस्टर देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट वी विल एड देम और सब्ट्रैक्ट देम सो लेट्स कंसिडर दिस ट्वेंटी वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स फर्स्ट consider 20 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources and turn off all other sources so here this is a voltage source when we turn off a voltage source that time we have to short circuit so let's take this circuit from here now what we will do we will turn off this voltage source by replacing it with short circuit now we will find the current through this 3 ohm resistor so we have to find this current let's say this is current i1 or we can say it is i prime now to find this current we can use current division rule so for current division rule first of all we need to find this current so i first uh, we have to find this main current so this current is equal to v upon r so voltage value is 20 volt and resistance value so here we we have to take the whole resistance so 5 then plus now this 3 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel so here we can write 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 so now this will be let's calculate this in calculator 20 divided by 5 plus 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 so we can write 20 by 7 to get the precise value ampere now next what we will do we will use current division rule so here we can write by using by using current division rule so by using current division rule we will get the value of i prime so i prime is equal to this main current that is this current this current into opposite branch resistance that is this 6 ohm divided by same resistance plus this resistance so now this will be the value of i is 20 by 7 into 6 by 6 plus 3 if we calculate this we get 20 divided by 7 then into 6 divided by 6 plus 3 so it is 1.904 1.90 and the direction is downward 
first we will write ampere here and then we will write i prime is equal to 1.90 ampere and the direction is downward now next what we will do we will find the current which is caused by this 40 volt voltage source so what we will do consider 40 volt voltage source 40 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources all other sources so we have to turn off this 20 volt voltage source again this is a voltage source so we need to replace it by short circuit now here this is positive so the current flows from positive to negative so the direction of this current will be like this now let's say this is i double prime and this is main current i now first of all we need to find the value of this current i again i is equal to v upon r the value of voltage here is 40 and the value of resistance will be 6 plus now this 5 ohm and this this 5 ohm and this 3 ohm are in parallel so 5 into 3 divided by 5 plus 3 so this will be 40 divided by 6 plus 5 into 3 divided by 5 plus 3 it is 5.07 ampere now we will find this current i double prime by using current division rule so by using current division rule i double prime is equal to this current which is i multiplied with now here opposite branch resistance is 5 ohm 5 divided by same resistance 5 into 5 divided by 5 plus 3 so let's put the value of i so it is 5.07 into 5 divided by 5 plus 3 so the value of i double prime will be let's calculate this in calculator 5.07 multiplied with 5 divided by 5 plus 3 so it is 3.16 3.16 ampere and here we can see the direction is downward so it will be downward like this now as we can see both the current direction of i prime and i double prime are downward so what we will do we have to add them to get the value of i3 ohm because the direction is same so i3 ohm is equal to i prime plus i double prime now the value of i prime is 1.90 ampere 1.90 plus i double prime value is 3.16 so therefore i3 ohm which is the current through this 3 ohm resistor it will be 1.90 plus 3.16 so it is 5.06 ampere so this is the final answer for this problem don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching